this is the status bar and this is the view control so in the status bar it will gui guide you that what exactly you have to do next so for an example let's say i just simply go to wall tool if i have selected that and now it is telling me to that uh, click to enter wall start point so let's suppose that i have just uh, choose chosen this start point point and after that it is telling you to enter wall end point and you can press space to flip the orientation so it will guide you something like this press escape you can see and after that i'll just simply click right click and cancel so like that it is again telling you to enter uh, wall start point so basically right now i'm in wall command so that's why it is telling me to do that so what i will do is i will just simply press escape and now i am out of this command so this is the uh, this is how this status bar works now after that we have this view control so here you can see that we have these three different options first one is the uh, uh, scale so this is one is to one and if you click on that you will get a uh, various different scales for your drawings uh, not only that you can also create your custom scale as well next one is detail level so you can see uh, let me simply cancel that so next one is detail level and here you can see with the help of that you can uh, sorry this one is the detail level right now you can see the detail level uh, we have three different options for that a uh, coarse medium and fine so if you actually just if let me if you zoom in in this region okay if you zoom in in this region you can clearly see that right now the detail level is coarse okay sorry uh, this is the coarse detail level and after that we have this medium detail level and after that we have this fine detail level so now if you notice here carefully you can clearly see that the de detail level between medium medium level and fine level is not that differentiable in case of wall but if you are seeing this thing in uh, wa uh, in windows or doors you might see a huge difference in the detail level now uh, next we have uh, this uh, visual style so here you can see right now the visual style is a hidden line so we will see this thing in 3d so that we can have a better understanding of this so here we have this wall so right now if you click on this one you can see the visual style is set to uh, we have these options so we have wire wireframe options so here you can see uh, there is no uh, these is the uh, transparent wall in the wireframe we have this transparent wall the next one is let's go here the next one is hidden line if you click on that uh, now it is no longer transparent you can see that this one is no longer transparent let's go to shaded and if you click on shaded you will notice that it will introduce some colors it will introduce the colors of the brick now next one is consistent color if you click on this one you can see that we have color but we have no shading now next one is realistic uh, let's see it will take some time in realistic we will get the realistic view of this brickwork you can see here that this is the realistic view so again uh, if you are working i will highly suggest you to work in wireframe mode or in the uh, hidden line okay uh, because it will consume less cpu uses than realistic so i will suggest you to stick with wireframe mode wireframe mode because it will consume less cpu so next we have so as you can see here that the sun path and next we have this sun path we are not getting this so for that i will just simply shift this to consistent color and now you are getting these two option for the sun path and the shadows now if you just simply click on this one so you can just simply turn on the sun path and that so you can see that we have not specified the location and all these things we will talk about this later uh, you can see that we are getting this and after that we have the shadows you can just simply click on that 
you can see uh, we are getting the shadows because the sun is on this side so like that you can click on that one to sh see the shadow but if you don't want to see it you can just simply untick this one okay next we have this quick render option so if you click on that you will get a render button so with the help of this you can actually render the things that you are working on next we have this crop view so with the help of this you can actually uh, crop a region and mm, after that we have this show crop region and you can actually view the cropped region with the help of this one after that we have unlock 3d view with the help of this you can actually uh, unlock lock the things that you actually want to work on or if you want to print something there you can just simply lock the things and after that you can take a print we have this temporarily hide and so uh, so isolate so you can just temporarily hide or isolate something and you can just simply work from there after that if you want to uh, see the uh, hidden items you can just simply click on this reveal hidden views and there from there you can actually s see those things and we have remaining these things which are not covered in the scores